Right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review. And this time we'll be checking out two new trailer compilations that were sent to me to review by Umbrella Entertainment from Australia. You can pick these up right now on Blu-ray, and they are Driving Delirium 60s and 70s and Driving Delirium 80s. Now, I've said before when I've reviewed other trailer compilations that these are just awesome uh, party material. You know, you go in there... You pop them up on the background on the TV when you're having a party and you just have a good time watching uh, these trailers. And I really think this is especially true with these compilations because these are drive-in trailers. It is cheesy, low budget most of the time, just nudity, sleaze, goodness. And I think if you're having a bunch of people over, this is just some things that you could watch and laugh with. And the thing with these two, these used to be released on DVD, but now Umbrella has brought them back on Blu-ray, added some more trailers to these, and uh, they look fantastic. Uh, usually with these trailer compilations that I've watched on Blu-ray, they usually just, you know, convert them from the prints to digital and throw them up onto a Blu-ray, and they don't really look that good. But Umbrella really did the uh, work to clean these up, and some of these trailers look absolutely amazing. And I was watching these going, wow, I can't believe that these actually look this good and that they spent the time to clean them up because I really think uh, restoring and conserving trailers are really, really important um, because they don't make them like they used to. You know, now you watch trailers and most of the time they spoil stuff and they're not as entertaining as these. These are just, you know, it was a time in movie history where you had just so many low-budget filmmakers coming out and trying to cash in on sleaze and things like that. And they weren't afraid to push the boundaries in these trailers and, and the voiceover and everything among them are just really, really fantastic. So let's just talk about some of the films on the 60s and 70s and then we'll get into the 80s set. So this one has 146 trailers on him and 50 new trailers to the Blu-ray. And uh, the thing with the 60s and 70s trailer compilation is that a lot of these films I have not even heard of or seen, and it's a lot of films that I want to see. But with the 80s compilation, you know, you have a lot more recognizable stuff, and I'll talk about that in a second. But with the 60s and 70s compilation, it's stuff that you really haven't heard of, at least I haven't heard of. And uh, it's broken up into two sections. You have the trailer list inside. We've broken up into the 60s trailers and the 70s trailers. And in between, you got drive-in, intertidal stuff, you know, snack bar stuff. It's a really, really nice uh, added bonus to this. It makes it feel more authentic. But on the 60s set, you have films like Peeping Tom, Jason and the Argonauts, uh, Barbarella. Just a whole bunch of really interesting stuff. A bunch of stuff that I haven't heard of. And then in the 70s, you know, you have some more stuff like Frogs, Grizzly, Dogs, Rabbit, Hills Have Eyes. Some more recognizable stuff. And um, that's definitely the longer... Uh, set of the trailers, Carrie, uh, Halloween, just some awesome stuff on the 70s stuff that I think a lot of people would be interested to watch. So uh, this is a really, really great overall package of Grindhouse trailers. Like I said, they look really, really fantastic, and um, I recommend this set if you're into that. But I think the 80s set is where you're going to get more people interested because this is the films that they're familiar with and um, films that they're like. On this one, we have 116 trailers, and uh, 40 of those are new to this Blu-ray set. So not as long as the 70, 60s and 70s set, but that's understandable because that is, of course, two decades. This is a single decade. But like I said, this is the one that I think most people are going to like, and it's broken up into two, sexes, two parts. Again, the crackdown, which is like the action, uh, over-the-top, blowing up, explosion-type films, and you got Stalk and Slash, which is, of course, the... Uh, gore and slasher sections of the set. So you have like Shogun Assassin, uh, Used Cars, which is one of my favorite comedies of all time. It probably is my favorite comedy of all time. I'd love to see that on here. Um, Blood Simple, Death Wish 2, Class of 1984, uh, The Thing, They Live, just a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. And then the slasher stuff, we have like Maniac, Friday the 13th, 1 through 3, uh, Terror Train, Prom Night, Halloween 2, Mad Men, Pieces, Curtains, Texas Chainsaw 2. So a lot of those films that people know and love. So like I said, I think this set is the one that people are really going to gravitate towards and watch. 
and um, have a really, really good time. It's a lot of films that people know and really, really love. So, overall, these are just really, really great compilations. Like I said, it's worth it to pick these up on Blu-ray because they really are high def and they really do look really, really fantastic. So, I cannot recommend these enough from Umbrella. They did a really, really great job and I'm really happy that they released these. Highly, highly recommend both of these uh, editions of Drive and Valerium. And like I said, you can pick these up on Blu-ray right now from Umbrella Entertainment. See, I had to drop it. If you guys watch my videos, I drop one thing, at least every video. Just pay attention to that when you're watching my reviews and my updates and stuff. I drop something every single time. And I almost made it the whole video without dropping it, but I did at the end. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash NESRuler22. And I'll talk to everybody soon. See you guys.